fluency, a word that educators are in constant interaction with. However, often raises more questions than answers, leaving many educators confused, asking, what is fluency? And maybe more importantly, what is its purpose? In my attempt to define fluency, I will use the model of a pyramid. On the foundation of that pyramid is flexibility. When I think of someone who is fluent in anything, be it a language or mathematics, or even the language of mathematics, fluency is being able to express ideas in various ways. It is having lots of tools and resources that are readily available. Moving ahead to the new Florida Best Standards, this flexibility is defined under exploration. It is important here that students are given ample time to explore. Here, students need exposure to and plenty of practice with manipulatives, models, drawings, discussions, and the like. Critical is that it is not about speed. The second layer of the pyramid of fluency is accuracy. Though accuracy is of course about being accurate or correct, this must be arrived at authentically. It is not about rote memorization. Under the best standards, this is defined under procedural reliability. As students work to become procedurally reliable, they will be using the skills developed here in the exploration stage. It is important that students do not lose their sense of flexibility in this stage of fluency. The final step of fluency is efficiency. Notice how I didn't say speed. Though students will develop speed over time, efficiency does not equate to being fast. In the past, this may have been interpreted as something like this. However, the speed needed to be successful here does not translate to real life. If I need five seconds in real life to determine that seven times six is 42, most won't even notice and I will be just fine. But five seconds per item on an assessment like this would be seen as a failure. So as we work towards efficiency, when it comes to deep understanding, and calculation for no other purpose, thinking is still more important. Efficiency should be the natural side effect of practice and exposure. Moving to the best standards, this efficiency is defined under procedural fluency. Like I've said though, this cannot be at the expense of accuracy or flexibility. This is also the first time students are exposed to the idea of standard algorithms, like long division. This is very abstract and often leaves students feeling confused if they haven't made the proper connections. For this, we must get here authentically. Do not rush the process. Under the best standards, these progressions could be up to three or four years. That means as a second grade teacher, you may only work under one layer of fluency and never get to efficiency. And that's okay. My final advice is this. Slow down and trust the process.